Hi, this is Sarah, and even though I've already done my five faves of May, I did that in the middle of the month, and I thought, well, this is going to be my first favorites video, and everybody does them, and I thought, you know what, I don't normally. So, I thought it'd be something really cool, some excuse to really, I don't know, just film more. So, I, I don't know. I said, they look fun, okay? I'm just going to be one of those people. So, <laughs> there's going to be two this month. Anyway, my favorites are this tiny little bottle of, well, not bottle, tube, but this is my sample, another sample, I love these, of Yonka moisturizer. This one's specifically in Pomplamousse or pumple mousse, depending on who you speak to. Um, it's amazing. It's so hydrating. It just sinks right into your skin. It's the first really good, expensive, awesome moisturizer or anything like that I've ever owned in my life. And I love it. I absolutely love it. And I have enjoyed several tubes of it now. And I think, as I said in my skincare video, and I did a review of Yonka stuff that I have gotten my hands on, I love it. If it wasn't $62 a tube, I would just get a vat of it and just slather it all over my body. It's amazing. You need just such a little amount, like a large pea size, to do your face and your neck, and it just sinks in so fast. It is stunning and gorgeous. My other favorite this month, which is now finished, so I have to pull out one of my backups, because I have a couple of these, is my whipstick, terribly beaten up original whipstick that I've had for years, which I know Lush products are supposed to go off and that, yeah, but it's still good. Shut up. Don't judge me. You'd be all judging me. Yeah. It's, it's lip balm. If it doesn't smell off, I know I'm one of those people. I'm not even going to excuse myself. I don't even care. It's bad. It's bad. Let's just, let's just say that it's bad and I shouldn't keep it for so long. And I, you know, but it's, it is expensive. And I just, because you don't need a huge amount, and I lost this for a while somewhere in my bathroom. <laughs> I've had it for a while. Anyway, that's another thing. One of my other favorites, I will bring you over here to show you. I'll be posting up a hair care video, or, no, no, I did a review. I did a review of this, which is the L'Oreal Hair Expert Renutrition Dripping on My Foot conditioner with royal jelly intensely nourishes dry hair i love it this stuff has saved my life absolutely saved my hair it's amazing and i love it it's very good stuff it's not expensive my other shower time favorite is the vino active naturals um skin relief body wash this is one of their line, the colloidal oatmeal. Just because it's so softening and lovely. And also, for the record, to go along with that, my Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. Originally, when I got this and I started using it, I didn't like it that much. I didn't think it was worth all the hype. But I've been really trying to take care of my skin the last few weeks and the fact that I'm not constantly in a state of breakout considering some of the stuff going on in my life right now, I really think is down to that. So I mean that is amazing and I love it. One of my other favorites, although I don't have it in here, is really oddly enough one step hand sanitizer gel because it's just a little hand sanitizer gel and it lives in my purse and I'm out and about and I don't drive so I'm on public transport 
or hoofing it everywhere. And um, it's great because it doesn't smell like horrible, you know, that weird smell that some of them have. And it just smells weird and chemically and like alcoholy and wrong and just you don't want it near you. That stuff actually smells nice and like, I don't know, like a little somewhere fruity, floral. It's nice. It's nice and it's effective and it just dries so fast and I love it. Um, one of the things I really love actually getting on to other things that clean your hands is this, which is um, from uh, Bath and Body Works. It's their um, antibacterial gentle foaming hand soap. I love this stuff because it just sort of disappears. It's really liquidy. I love foamy hand soaps. Either these are the ones with the little beads in because they just really, yeah, they're good. But this one's the nectarine and mint. Mostly you smell the nectarine, but it's really nice and I love it. Um, other favorites this month would be music. I am one of these sad people. I love Carly Rae Jepsen, uh, Call Me Maybe. That's been, <sighs> I love it. I love it and I will post a link down below to the video for that. And another song that I have been absolutely loving for the last two months is a song called Whole Wide World by Men <laughs> Mindy Gledhill. And it's an amazing song and I've been going through some stuff lately and it has been really, it's one of those songs you listen to it and you can't help but smile. And I have needed that. <laughs> um, other than that, I mean, I've been loving lots of stuff, but that's the stuff I've really been loving. Really, really been loving. There's one more thing I really love, but I can't pin her down quietly right now, and that would be my beautiful Labradoodle, who turned two this month, Socks, who is a stunning little bundle of fluff, and she's just made of happiness and joy, and she's always my favorite person in the whole wide world. And I do not know what I would be doing right now if I did not have her. Anyway, um, I have just done a face mask and I have scrubbed my face completely and now all of my red horribleness is showing up because I don't have any makeup on and my eyes are not cooperating. So I'm gonna sign off now. Those were my favorite things in the month of May. Um, if I had one regret in all the month of May, because I think when you talk about things that you love in your life, you should talk about your regret. And my one regret in the month of May would be falling in love with this really delicious salami that's encased in Parmesan cheese and it's very fatty and bad for you. But it's so good. And my one other love is my new gym, which I am enjoying immensely. I am back at Good Life Fitness. It is amazing, it's well equipped, it's gorgeous, the staff are fantastic. And on Monday I will be starting with my, I you could only call him like the absolute amazingness and tasty pantsness, Kevin, who is hot. So. We'll be starting out with Hot Trainer on Monday, hopefully this week. I've, I've got three sessions booked with him, because that's what I can afford for right now. When I've got uh, a bit more money coming in, I'm hoping to maybe extend that. Although the smallest block you can get is like 54 sessions with a trainer, which is insane. Because that's got to be expensive. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So I'm going to be checking out my new exercise routine. So my my other favorites of this month would have to be the elliptical machine, which I am just getting so good at. I did two and a half K today in 33 minutes. 421 calories burned, yes! So burny. And the Good Life Fitness uh, circuit training awesomeness, which is fantastic. Nine machines, 20 minutes or less. 15 reps a hit, so, oh my god, I hurt. If you want to follow me on Photocracy, if you're anywhere on that, I am S-U Cake. Yeah. Um, all one word, S-U Cake. Um, and that would be
happy when my other loves is photography, which combines my love of RPG leveling up and not wanting to be fat. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below or message me, which you will find up here. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much and I hope you have a really awesome day. Okay, bye.